It's safe to say Freehold Borough took a giant leap forward in 2014, going from two wins to seven. The Colonials went 7-0 before losing its final three games of the season. Coach Dave Ellis is telling his team to strive for even more in 2015. Well, I try to tell the guys that, you know, we don't want to be happy with just making the playoffs, you know, or, or being 7-3. and three. Uh, You know, our ultimate goal is to win a championship. And, uh, you know, it was good that they got a taste of that last year and got to see what it's like to, to be in the playoffs and be in big games. Um, but, you know, we, I'm counting on these seniors this year to turn the corner. Freehold Borough needs to replace a top 10 rusher in Josh Dixon, and they have the answer in sophomore Ashante Worthy, who shined whenever he got touches in his freshman campaign. The Colonials offense is in the hands of Jake Curry, who showed improvement week by week throughout his junior season. I think now definitely having a full year under my belt, um, I'm definitely very confident coming into this year. Uh, I've, done, I've put in a lot of work this offseason, so I'm excited to see how everything comes together. Uh, I think it's going to be a really fun season. I'm excited for it. Many of the Colonial starters play both ways, including Jamel Smith-Rush, who's a playmaker both at wide receiver and as a pass-rushing defensive end. The Lion is led by Joel Perez, who's nicknamed the franchise. Yeah, I think our line's going to be really good this year. Um, we got a kid from Manalapin who's looking actually really good, Alec Mahone. And... Um, yeah, we have some returning starters, so I think that we're going to be really good this year. Free Old Borough had a top 20 offense and defense last year, which is even more impressive when you see where they were just one year earlier. Coach Ellis is asking his team to believe in the process. If the Colonials do that, they should enjoy another winning season. I think, you know, we just got to keep listening to our coaches, uh, do what they tell us to do, because you know they, they always put us in the best position possible. Uh, they're, they're always at the school watching a lot of film. I think that's probably just... The smartest thing we can do is just continue to listen to our coaches because they're not going to put us in a bad spot. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.